Okay, so here's a great example of where we can use a screwdriver and a wrench. Tighten this thing up. Let's do that. I'm trying to get it so that the, uh, whatchamacallit, so that the place where I started cutting already is back in the, in the same position so the camera can see it properly. I think that's good and tight. One more time. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. All right then, let's try to tighten that uh, cut. Yeah. Yeah. Seems to be working. See, I am making a cut there. I believe this this uh, nut be it may be a little stronger. This might be a grade five nut, so it's stronger than the one the quarter inch nut I used the other day. That looks pretty good. I think that actually worked. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull the camera off the stand and, and come around to a different angle uh, so get a better look at it. If you look right there, now is it going to focus? Yeah, we'll zoom in a little bit. That, to me, looks like that nut actually split. Okay. I'm going to uh, try to take it off of the, um, take it off the bolt now and see what happens, see if we can get a better look at it. I think I'm <coughs> gonna put this back on the, on the tripod. It's really hard all to see what I'm doing. Okay, I'll just use the pliers again. We're not worried about not worried about tearing up the corners on the the nut now. I think it's pretty well done. Well that's annoying. <coughs> it's just turning the bolt. We're almost there. I'm really surprised I can't just turn it by hand yet. There we go. Getting there. Okay. See how that looks on the camera. Can we get a good sight? Back up just a little bit. Okay. Look at that. I believe that is actually fractured the nut. And that would definitely, if that was a frozen nut on there, if it was 
really tight. I could probably whack it a couple more times and get a little more space there, um, and then it would it would definitely come loose. But the cold chisel really did the job on that one.